<laughs> Tonight, we're proud to recognize a Douglas County-based nonprofit as our 2014 community partner. Amerobotics has made it their mission to teach kids about robotics. The fruit of their labor has been captured time and time again in headlines as the kids first introduced to robotics during camps held at our schools and have gone on to compete on the world stage during an international robot Olympiads, including last year's event, which was held right here on U.S. soil. We're going to watch a video here. The last moments before a competition are the hardest. It's kind of exciting because you got a lot of adrenaline and it's kind of a bit nervous. Especially when you're a rookie. This is my first time doing an event. We came here yesterday and saw a bunch of other people compete. Simon and his buddy Trayton are making their final adjustments. So I'm making it so I can get a better grip on the balls when I'm gripping them. It's nothing that a little duct tape can't fix. Because I've been having some trouble with the balls. They're with Stone Mountain Elementary, part of Douglas County's team, and they're representing the United States in the robot survival event where competitors not only work to stack blocks. We only got one shot at this, and if we don't make the shot, you know, we're dead. But to fire power balls at each other. Five plus one is fire. It's one of those things where if you don't hit it correctly, you can't do it again. The nerves are understandable when you consider that in moments they'll be facing off with kids from Korea, China, and the Philippines. This is the first time that the International Robot Olympiad has been held on U.S. soil, right here at the Colorado Convention Center. And the event has definitely piqued the interest not only of the famous blue bear, but hundreds of Coloradans. So it's just like a nice little thing to do when it's right here in Colorado. Whew. Here we go, train. Mark, set. It's an amazing opportunity for our students to test their 21st century skills, to gain some global awareness, to learn about resiliency, Team five winners. and to build confidence on the world stage. It is. This is a world stage. It is one of the premier world stages of, of any, any event, not just robotics, but in science, technology, engineering, and math. Randy Menzer not only started the Douglas County nonprofit that's behind the growing U.S. team, but he and a group of volunteers bid for the games to come here to Colorado. It's what we had hoped for. It was um, actually even more than we had hoped for. It's an experience that you, you, I have tried to explain over and over to many people, but to actually experience it and for the kids to, to really, really be with, with the, the kids from all around the world. There's nothing like it. It's just so stressful. Of course, you have to be careful of what you wish for. It's just been really difficult with all of the logistics. It's the building, the rent, the, the entire thing, putting that all together. At one point, they were even running low in the hardware department. We didn't have enough metals. We needed to order more. But in the end, it was worth it. Seeing the, the vibrance in here and, and the energy and, and our kids here from the USA and largely Douglas County School District, it, there's no question I would do it again. It was an amazing feat both for the organizers and the participants. Only two years after sending the first delegation to the IRO, the US team made up mostly of DCSD students won 10 bronze, two silver, and four gold medals. I've been to the past two years and South Korea is really dominant in the robotics field to so to have an American team win gold, especially us, that's really, really exciting. It was like, nothing I've ever felt before you know you know there's all these different people here you're competing to get gold it's just really exciting and it's an opportunity that some Douglas County students may never get again are you going to do this again do you think I know it's going to be far far away next time but... I know we are not going to do it because it's so far away it's Beijing it's in Beijing congratulations to Amerobotics the winner of the 2014 community partner award please welcome Randy Menser accepting on behalf of Amerobotics I would like to say thank you to all the teachers in Douglas County School District. This is such an honor, and I support you. Thank you.